Hello friends, my name is Jennifer. Welcome back to my channel. I'm gonna do some planty chores. I have a ton of things I need to catch up on. Uh, we were out of town for Christmas and then we got stranded in North Dakota for a couple of extra days. So I just am kind of falling behind on some things that need to get done. So I've got my little list here. Um, we're gonna be repotting some anthurium. I need to water all my moss poles. Uh, need to clean monstera leaves, water trailing plants above my kitchen window. Um, we're gonna take some cuttings for uh, this new prop base that I got, which is this one right here. I got this at Target for like $5. I posted it on my story. So if you watch that, that's what this is. We're gonna take some cuttings for it finally. Uh, so we'll do that. And then the last one is refresh the water on my prop shelf, which is this behind me here. So, all right. Let's get to it. I'm gonna go ahead and do the uh, the prop shelf first, just because I already have you guys right here. So, you see over there? Yeah, okay. So I took these cuttings, um, probably a little over a month ago, would be my guess. So let's see what we've got going on here. I'm just gonna empty all the old water into here, dump it out, and then um, we'll refill them back up. Not that long ago. We'll give them, we'll give them some more time. <laughs> All right, what else do we got here? Some begonia. Begonia um, <gasps> root systems are like really fine and skinny. Can you see those kind of right here? It's kind of hard to get it to. There we go. They're really like thin roots. You got to be careful when you're like putting these in moss. Honestly, if you have any begonia in moss, which I, I do, um, I just, when I pot them out of, like take them, uh, out of the moss and put them into soil, I can't talk today. Um, I just take the moss, set it in the soil and then just cover, go over it. The roots will find their way. Um, it's no, not, um, a good idea, I guess. I've broken so many roots off trying to get the moss and it's it's fine. So just leave the moss on them, I guess is what I'm trying to say. <laughs> um, this is my Marble Queen Pothos. Look at how cute this is. I'm so excited. My Marble Queen is actually right here. I can show it to you. Um, this is the mother plant. It's like grown so slow freaking freaking slow um and now it's finally getting some new growth but it has taken a while in order for it to start going um but now i have it closer to the window maybe that was my fault because usually plants that have like more variegation or like the neon pothos that has lighter leaves they need a little bit more light than um like the pothos that have darker like the jade pothos or like your golden pothos um those don't need quite as much i've noticed i guess with their darker foliage and I think that's a thing I don't know but yeah in my experience uh I guess it just needed some more, some more light but yeah so this guy's got a nice little root on it we can actually probably pop that guy up but we'll see what we what we have time for today uh what the rest was in this guy was some Cebu blue cuttings but these guys don't have any um roots yet and then I got some more begonia which have some roots. This one is ready to go. Look at that. That's so cool. Put this down. Can you see that? Look at all those little baby roots. They're so cute. Oh, look at it. It's a crunchy boy. 
cute. Oh my gosh, that's so cool. I love watching begonia leaves come in. Like, look at how crinkly it is. Eee! Exciting. Okay, this is actually um, a cutting that I took for someone else. So he's gonna have to go to a new home, but that's okay. Okay, uh, so for those of you that don't know or haven't seen on my Instagram yet, I use Liquidert um, and I mix it all up and put it into this big container here. So we're gonna use that. Um, I will link Liquidert in the description. Um, so you guys can go over to their website and get some for yourself. This um, but yeah, Liquidert is a plant food. I use it as a fertilizer um, every single time I water my plants and I do use it for my cuttings as well because it really does, I think it does help um, the root system kind of start um, to grow. And I think they grow faster. And I mean, at least it seems to, I don't know if that's actually true, but oh my God, there's some stuff in there. But from what I've noticed, I think it grows faster. Whoa! Oh God, I'm making a huge mess. Ew. I need some more. Okay, I need more and this is all done. So I guess I'm gonna show you how this works. So I have, oh geez. Hey, camera there. Um, so I have this container, basically you mix this is like the, so it comes as a powder. You fill this up with water and it comes, uh, turns into like a concentrate. Then you take a cap full of this, put it into a gallon um, container and then fill this up with water. So this is like your mix. And then with this, you add, I think it's two tablespoons per, I'll, I'll put the equation on the screen because I'm not in exactly sure. I should have just read it off the thing, but whatever. Um, but then you, I have it all measured out on my container, how much goes in there. I don't know if you can see this line right here so that I know how much goes in there every time. So I don't have to measure it. Um, but yeah, so I'm going to make some more real quick because I ran out of water. So here we go. back so yeah i just got the concentrate in there filled this up with water and this is like about the color you're looking for so if you don't want to measure sometimes i just dump the concentrate like into um into my watering can because i don't have time to fill up this big thing anyone else's like ocd going crazy here these are not like you know they don't they don't match I'm gonna reorganize these because this is gonna drive me crazy, so I'm gonna... That's better, I guess. <laughs> all right, let me get you a little closer. There we go. And then we'll put all these guys back. I'll, um, I'll speed it up here. We can check that off the list. Let me grab my list here. Sorry, I'm all up in your in your business. All right. So refresh water prop shelf. There we go. All right. And then we might as well take some cuttings while I've got this here too. So we'll go ahead and do that. Let me back you up here. Hi, baby. Whoa. Back you up. All right. Okay, I definitely didn't think about this ahead of time. I don't know what I'm gonna put in here. What should we put in here? Let's do maybe some Syndapsis Exotica. That would be fun. What else could we do that I've got in this room? Um, let me go do a little walk around and see, see what we can cut. Okay, so the my uh, synapsis, synapsis 
Some people say skindapsis. I, I say synapsis, but sometimes it don't come out right. Words today. Whew. All right. Um, I grabbed my synapsis argyreus. I think that's how you say it. I'll put it on the screen. Um, this thing took forever to take off, and now it's finally like I've got new growth everywhere on this guy. He's got a cute little thing here, but we're going to prop cut a little bit off of here just so I can show you guys kind of where to cut all that you know so yeah let me set him down all right so what you want to do is find your nodes so these little brown um, those will eventually be like where the roots would come from when you cut it so I'm just going to cut this whole string off and then I'll show you she can grow more I'll chop that up here. Where to cut um, when you're propagating. So I'm gonna leave this this long one because it's got like a new leaf coming in up here. So I'm gonna give it a little bit more space. So I'm gonna cut it. So you want to cut in between these these um, these nodes here. So there's this one here and this one here. So I'm gonna cut in between. And I always give it like a little bit of space underneath so that when you're Putting it in the water, it has like a little bit to stand up on. And then, it's got some weird stuff going on here. So there's one here, and there's one here. So there's one on this side. It's a really weird spot for it, but I'm just gonna cut in between here. And then I'll just leave these, so. So now I've got you can see all those little nodes here. This is where the roots will come from, and then we'll just stick it in the water like this. And then we've got this one. So the roots will come from here, and then the new leaf will come from in here. Like where this leaf comes out, it'll sprout a new growth point, and then that's where the new leaf will come from. I'll just trim that off. But yeah, so there's the the growth or the roots where the roots will come from here and then the new leaf will come in between here or there's a new leaf kind of starting to go right there but this is what you'll want in the water that's where the roots will grow from so we'll get that going here let me fill this up with some water So we've got this guy all set up now. So we've got our uh, synapsis argyreus, or Ar I'm not sure exactly how to say that. Let me know if you know. Um, cuttings here and here. And then we've got our one saber blue cutting on the top. This thing is so freaking cute, I'm so excited. I'm just gonna leave it on my desk actually so I can look at it and it's right, right near the window so it'll get plenty of light. Um, I always feel so bad when I cut the leaves off and I had to throw them away. I don't wanna. I don't wanna throw them away. Look at how cute they are. Like, okay. You go. Too cute. Too cute. Anyway. Alright, so we've crossed off cuttings for new prop base. Done! Now what? Should we repot our, my anthurium? Ooh. Yeah, let's do it. All right. <sighs> I have so much crap everywhere. I don't even know where to put. You guys put the all the plants. Okay. So I've got my anthurium crystallinum here this guy is like in <laughs> desperate need of a new pot look at this you guys oh god your girl waited way too long he's even got like roots coming out the top here that's not good that ain't good 
We need to get him taken care of. So we're going to give him a little bit more room. I'm going to keep these guys in sphagnum moss though because I don't have um, enough like soil amendments to make like an aeroid mix right now. So I'm going to try and what is going on with this? Hello, why is my face so bright? <sighs> Okay, anyway, let's do that. Um, yeah, so this guy, and then I got my queen. Look at this, you guys. Oh, I can't, I just cannot with this freaking plant. It is, I just, I love her so much. She's so freaking cute. She's got a new like leaf trying to come out, but I think that she really needs some more space because she's not really doing much. And yeah, these roots on the bottom here are like, hello, give me some more room. Um, and Thurium like to be snug, but they don't like to be root bound. So if you see any roots trying to like poke out the drainage hole or if they look like they're too tight like this one does, it's time for a new pot. So that's exactly why we're doing all this today. And literally all three of mine, can't forget about, forget about the forget eye over here. This one is in the same, same boat. It's not quite as uh, root bound. I should not have like watered these because now I'm not gonna be able to get this out. Um, this one might not actually be that bad. Let's do a little inspecting here. Their roots are so cool though. If you have any anthurium, you you know what I'm talking about. This guy, I don't know if this one needs, I can't see any roots, but he's not doing anything. I kind of thought he would need to be repotted because he's not like pushing out any new growth right now. But I think that this one might be okay. I think I'm gonna leave it for a little while, but I'm gonna let it, it's really wet from being in my cabinet. I'm gonna let it sit out, I think, for a little bit today because it's pretty, pretty moist. I don't, I don't want it to sit and get rotted out on me. So we'll forget about the forgetty eye today. But look at how pretty she is. Oh yes, I love her. We love her. We love her. Okay. So, well, that's perfect because I only had two pots. Anyway. So, all right, let's get to it. Basically, all I'm gonna do is take these pots here and put uh, sphagnum moss in the bottom, um, put these in and then fill around the sides and that's it. I'm just giving them a little bit more room to grow. And that's, that's how we're gonna go about it. So let's get started. All right, set you aside, hopefully not spill anything. Um, so this sphagnum moss I got at Home Depot. It's not like the best. It does have some sticks and stuff in it. So I try and kind of pick all of that, like, I don't know, all that stuff out if I can. Some bags are better than others. So it just kind of depends on which one you get when you're buying them. But I'm just going to put the dry moss into here. We'll do a little bit at a time. My bowl is only so big. And then I'm just going to get it wet. Um, and when you're doing this, you want it to be wet, but you don't want it to be like soaking wet. So get it like fully saturated, but then like squeeze it out so it doesn't have a ton of like excess water. Otherwise your roots will be like drowning. So we don't want that. Oh, that was too much. Okay, so this is ready. All right, so what I'm gonna do, I need to get like comfortable here. All right, I'm just gonna take a few like handfuls. So I'm gonna wring it out so there's not like a ton of extra. I'm just gonna put it in the bottom. Like so. I'm gonna use this smaller one for the queen because she's Okay, and we're back. Nothing like being in the middle of filming and your um, camera <laughs> runs out of memory. Anyways. 
So yeah, we're just gonna continue to fill around here and then I'm gonna build it up a little bit around the base. And then I'm gonna assume that has something to do with the fact that they like to grow, like they're an epiphyte, I think is how you pronounce it. They like to grow up things like trees. So we're just gonna build it up a tiny bit here. And that's probably good. Oh my goodness. Okay, okay. Okay, so we got the queen done. All right, so she's got a lot more room now. Um, she's going to go back in my cabinet. But yeah, give her 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 second in the spotlight here. This leaf grew in so weird. I don't know why it's like, you see this? It's like turned the opposite way. I don't know why it did that, but it is so pretty. Oh, I can't. It's so pretty. I love her. <laughs> All right, on to the crystal item. The bigger desk. Okay. Oh my God. Or I just, yeah, whatever. Okay. So I need some more moss. Get out of here. Get out of here. Stick. I hope this is fun for you guys. This is super fun for me. <laughs> I love hanging out with my plants and just, you know, as a, a planty enthused person. I just want to hang out with my plants all day. Except for when it gets super messy and then I have to clean it up. That's my least favorite part. I'm sure that's yours too. Okay, look at that. Oh my gosh, whoa. All right, we'll set her in here and give her some room. Some room to grow. None of my anthurium have like shown any signs of new growth, and I'm pretty sure this is why. <laughs> uh, they just needed some more space. Like, let me let me have some room here. Let me have some room to grow. Now you can't see me because this leaf. There we go. All right. Hopefully my camera doesn't run out of memory again. We'll get this fixed. Finished, and then we'll move on here. Oh, this leaf is so cute. This one, I bought it like this. It was like a bargain uh, plant. It must have gotten like some sunburned. Got a little crispy, but that's okay. Still, it's still um, still a cute leaf. They don't have to be perfect. We love the imperfections. Okay, so I'm not sure what happened here, but I got cut off on my video. So here's a picture of all three of the anthuriums potted up. I did actually decide to give the Forgetti Eye a new pot, so here it is. Um, now we're going to just do a quick, um, I guess I'm going to speed through the rest of most of this because I have some watering that I'm trying to finish above the kitchen, as you can see here. And then I'm, I'm going to water the moss poles and get to the rest of the list. So I'm just going to add in some music. So enjoy the rest of the video. Okay, so you can see here, this is um, me watering my Philodendron Florida Ghost. If you follow me on Instagram, you know that I um, just posted a picture and a video of uh, this plant, what it looks like now. Basically, what I'm doing right in this video right now is overwatering my plant. So yeah, head on over to Instagram, Instagram, blah, 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 Instagram and see what it looks like now. Um, but yeah, I guess this is the last evidence I have of it looking real pretty. Look at that leaf. At least there's a new one coming in. But anyway, let's get back to it.
got for you today. We got a lot of stuff done. We checked off one, two, three, four, five, six, six things off of my big to-do list. So I'm pretty happy about that. Um, yeah, don't forget to hit the subscribe. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time.